Hey guys, Greg here with Underground Graphics. Today we've got a new kit to show you. This is gonna be our Bronco Retro Fade. I'm sure you've seen this around. This is inspired by that uh, late 70s Bronco. I believe it was a 77. Um, this was our inspiration for that. I'm sure you, again, lots of different variations of that. Uh, we've had lots of requests. It's, if it's something we can do, we've seen it done in that sunburn look. Um, very rarely in the blue, but we did have someone ask for that, so we kind of moved forward with it. Again, with all the different ways to do this, we finally took the time. It's been weeks trying to get this kit perfect. We've got it to where we like it um, perfected. Uh, and as you can see, we've got a little bit of spacing in between those door seams. I like that. It gives us spacing that matches with that crease. Same, spatching up, same spacing up along that fender line. Everything's balanced, everything works well. Uh, we have installed this once before, uh, but I want to do it again as a full kit. Additionally, we're going to have a couple variations for this, uh, as well as having the hood option, which is our standard hood bump. Um, that's going to cover, again, that hood bump area, same pinstriping, same fade. And some of these you've seen come back and they go up the B pillow, as you see here. Without this piece here, We've got all those panels just going to the back. That's going to be kind of be your standard option. This will come with it. So you're going to have all those options to do whichever way you want to do it. Um, but coming up to that V pillar, we're going to get rid of this door piece and then add another one, which is this piece here where those pinstripes will follow. This will come back to this door. It'll follow that V pillar going up. And then you have the option not to do the rear two pieces or we can give you another piece, which will kick off the back of that and continue as it should if you want to go all the way back. Um, like I said, this is going to be our ice version. All right, so we're ready to get started. Uh, I got the camera moved over here so we can kind of show you at least this front section. I did go ahead and get the hood put on, get that one out of the way. Uh, we've got, I think we've got two videos that show us how to do the hood installs if you guys have any questions on that. Um, I did notice that, again, we do need to mask this when you get this kit in. This is our thicker film because it's calendared. You're going to get the cast version, the premium version, so it is going to be thin. So we want to make sure that we've got some um, rigidity with that mask on there. So when you get that and receive that, it'll either have that clear air mask or a paper mask. Uh, we don't really need that air mask because we're not going any, any, any curves. So I think that paper is going to be just fine and we're going to get that trimmed just like this as close as we can to that edge. As we talked about earlier, make sure uh, you get this all taped up and all in place where you want. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna use basically the hinge method for each piece uh, as, 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 as we go down these, these panels. You'll notice that the door handles are, are pre-cut out. Uh, we have had some people ask if we can leave those, leave that full, which means you'll have to take out the door handle, apply that, reinstall the handle. Any of that stuff is doable. Again, it's custom. This is gonna be the easiest way to do it for your do-it-yourself and for that universal um, kit. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, again, getting this thing cleaned, I think I said 10% alcohol uh, in, that, in that last uh, startup video. Uh, I wanna correct myself, that should be 30% with 70% water uh, mix. Um, and as I get these things going, again, if you see me do some of these other videos, I like to make sure that's in place. Um, and while this is not ceramic coated, I did just go over it with some detail spray. So this tape isn't sticking as well as I'd like it. Uh, but again, it'll work for our purposes. Um, but that hinge method for each piece, the doors are going to be the biggest ones, a little bit tricky on those. Um, you can always use this tape as you start to hinge and give yourself a lineup. Um, again, we're using that, that crease as that line. But if you're, if you can't see that that well, go ahead and tape it, get that in place that'll be your mark. You can kind of do that to make those marks so you know where those are going to go, you know, where those are going to end up. Again, I like to hit that, that tape and just kind of tear that so I've got that as, as my mark and I, I, I know where to come back to. Uh, the tools you're going to need with this, this will come with the squeegee that does have the felt attachment to it. Um, this is a big enough kit and you're going to want it, um, but you're going to want to use that hard hard edge on that on that paper or on the on that mask but as you pull that again this is going to be there's no mask on this so i got to be real careful uh with that paper mask on there that'll allow you to pull that a little bit stronger uh with a little bit more force 
Um, and again, I'm, I'm kind of going light with this. Uh, once you get that in place, you can use that hard squeegee and, and, and really kind of give it some force to get, to get that down. But that's, that's the hinge method there, is doing one side. You can see I hit that line just by hitting that marker there. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna take these, these two pieces off and then make that mark back on this one. And if you don't, if for some reason this is starting to tear, you're not getting that, like that's not starting to tear, you can use your blade and obviously don't cut on the paint, but just score that right on top of that vinyl. Uh, you just wanna score that mass. Just kind of barely drag that blade on top of that tape and it'll just give you enough to, to kind of pop that off. And again, there's your second mark. We're gonna pull that one off. Kind of start that, come back, line this up with that tape. As I mentioned before, if you're uncomfortable with this, this is the one you may wanna to send to your professional friend with the wrap shop. We had a lot of people ask us why we're using wrap film. Why don't we do the wet installs? Uh, back in, in 2008, I think when we started doing wraps, uh, we fell in love with this film. Um, that wet method is just, I don't know. Again, we do it, we still do it. Sometimes we have to do it. Um, but this is just a much easier, cleaner method. Um, so as you can see, that's already one panel. And Again, it being air release, very forgiving. I just got myself a little wrinkle there. Just push that right out. No bubbles. Follow that seam. And we can really just keep going as we're going down the, uh, the vehicle. Again, these bigger panels are the harder ones. So let's show you how to do these again. And I've got just enough of that white border showing. Again, you can cut on that without cutting your paint. But I'm gonna mark there. You just wanna drag that, barely score that. And then make sure these are still attached. And we're gonna do that hinge again. Again, I cannot say enough that this would be a lot easier if it was masked. I really just want this to be your demo. A little quick tutorial. Same method, just tack and tack. Again, when there's no mask on here, that's when you want that felt side of that squeegee. Um, if you didn't get that in a kit that you've done with us before, it's typically because it's a small kit. Um, these squeegees do get pretty expensive, um, although we have found some econ economical versions, so we, we will start putting those out with some kits. Um, but you can use a microfiber, a t-shirt, um, anything just to give it a little bit of um, you know, buffer in between that and the in the uh, the film again i'm not certain what this time would be on this full kit we're just going to do a side of this for you um, may even stop here, go ahead and get some more of these panels done, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you um, the options for um, how this kit comes. Uh, again, you can do that with or without that, that lower rocker. Um, you can do it with the B pillar, without the B pillar. A couple different options on that. Again, there's so many ways to do, I've seen this kit, so many different ways to do it. We're trying to give you all the options in one kit.
again, paper, a little more rigid. I could be a little firmer with it. finish this install uh, you take the mask off and, and, and got that laminate showing uh, you are going to want to post heat this um, at least just with the heat gun uh, get that heat gun up to about 180 degrees just go over that laminate uh, it'll get out any scratches it'll kind of put a little bit more machine on that on that laminate but again that 8518 is a, is a very very high gloss uh, again what, what we're seeing on here I don't know how well you can see in the camera is our calendared version of that. So it does not have that super high sheen, even though it does, it does still look pretty glossy with that. Um, let me go ahead and do this door piece, just so you can see it. This one is a little tricky. But again, same, same method. Again, I may wanna make another mark so I know where that's gonna be this one's gonna get a little softer on that handle which again is why that paper mask is gonna be a little bit easier for this Lightly score it. And we'll go through that time. There we go. There we go. So again, this is going to be a little trickier. With that paper on there, it's gonna be a lot easier. I'm just trying to show you that technique. I'm gonna match up those lines. You can see I hit that just fine. Some people like to still do this wet. Uh, 3M does not recommend doing this, ever doing a dry install wet. Um, it's in the documentation, it's um, everywhere. Um, it's been done. Uh, but there's zero guarantee on how that's going to last, um, you know, if that's going to hold up as it should. Uh, so again, we definitely recommend that dry install. Yeah. Um, again, any wrapper, anyone that's familiar 
with the vehicle wraps will have no problem with this. They will most likely thank you for having a dry install versus a wet install. Your install times will be cut, cut almost in half from what it is for a wet kit. Um, so again, we can't say enough great things about uh, the dry installs and that's why we use them. And I'm just barely holding this in place. Again, that was a big piece. I think once we finish this door, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple, get, get uh, most of this installed, and then we'll go back and talk about the option pieces on this, and we'll finish up. As you can see, everything lines right up to where we had that. All right, now that we've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can zip through the rest of this and we'll come right back with uh, a demonstration of the options on the kit. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right guys, so as you can see, after that time lapse, we did finish up the rest of that vehicle. Um, the only thing I did not do was trim out that gas cap. Um, again, I think we've got another video on the other on the first high stripe where we kind of showed you how to do that and when I dragged the blade on the inside. Um, call us if you have any questions on that because we're just going to take this right back off um, and show you the other option on this. So this is kind of our standard. <clears throat> again, with or without that rocker, I like it with. Some people like it without. I just think it adds a little bit more balance to the bottom of the vehicle. Now with the other option, what we're going to do is we're going to come up to that B-pillar we're going to do one with it, you know, leaving. This is going to come off. This one's going to come off. We're going to add this and then have the option for that back piece. Let's go ahead and pull out those other pieces. And the first one we're going to do is that A pillar. Um, again, this one's small enough, really, that we can just kind of stop this one on. Um, again, can't stress enough uh, going on textured plastic. You're going to take some of that texture into the vinyl, um, but if you want it, it's there. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to have this smoothed out um, to really get that paint-like uh, look to it. But that's going to line up right on there and a little more centered. Right above the rubber strip there. Take this one off. And this is one to go back on, get some paint. So the blue on the cactus, I'm not so sure if that's the combo that's really going to work, but it works great on white, it works great on the darker colors, um, probably even that carbon gray. Um, again, I think that um, fire version, which is going to be the red version of this kit, I think that's going to look a little better on here. We have not done that one yet, so I don't know what to tell you if that's the one that's going to really look the best. I think for this color it will. Um, again, I've only got one Bronco, so we couldn't do other colors. Hopefully we will have someone that comes in or we can get some of those um, 
other color options on here from people submitting their photos or uh, what have you. Again, the second one's going to come off as well on that back door. method this one is going to go over the crease in that door so you will see how we cut on that Get a bubble or a wrinkle or something you didn't like in there. Again, this stuff is real forgiving. Pull it off. You just want to be careful of that stretch. So again, try not to gain, but just lightly lift that back up. side of the blade and just cut right cut on the middle where we don't want to not cutting on paint just use the edge of that blade just first one, but again, you can do whatever you want to do with this kit. Just a little throwback to the 70s. Once we get this one on here, I'm going to 
talk real quick. I'm gonna turn that camera off, get some pictures, and then we're gonna do that last piece. And then we'll go into that fire kit. Which same thing, you don't need to see us do a full install again, but we'll throw that into time lapse so you guys can see it. And then we'll go back and of course our pictures will be available on our website. So that there is the example of using that B-pillar and keeping that same design all the way throughout. Um, you know, that's good. again, there's so many different ways to do this kit. Um, kind of felt that that was what worked best for some. I still like that first version of that. Um, but, we, you know, we did want to give you those, those options. Um, so again, we're going to cut, get some more photos, and we'll come back to you. See you in a minute. So this is that last option, and it's just taking those two back pieces off. This is what really kind of fills that 77 uh, look a little bit better without those back pieces in the back. Again, wish I had a darker color to put this kit on to show you. Uh, it really does not do this justice, but if you have the antimatter blue, if you have the black, um, even on white, I think this is gonna look fantastic. That's what our render was on. Um, I think that's going to be the way to go. And again, I've got the orange accent, so this is really kind of throwing it off. But again, just wanted to show you what this, what this was going to look like, how that installed, what that blue looks like. Um, now, for the fun one, we're going to go back and we're going to do the fire kit of this, the, the fire version of this, which is going to be that red, that red fade, that red burn all the way up. Um, for that one, again, we're just going to cut out. We're going to go into a time lapse, and I'm going to get my trusty installer, Gian, to help me with that. He is going to be taking over or helping assist in some of the installations from here on. So you'll get to see him uh, in action. And then after that the cut, we'll go over a final break with that. And uh, yeah, again, uh, like and subscribe. Hope you guys are watching these videos. Um, always give us a call. If you have any questions on anything, we're always here. Love to talk Broncos.